Hello, and welcome to this week's podcast. This week we have a real sporting theme for the podcast. We are going on a little trip to San Antonio with our history-making um, swim team who for the first time in the school's history have qualified for the state competition. We're going to find out how our boys are getting on in their varsity soccer state competition. We are going to find out a little bit some of our world-class teachers and some of their sporting successes that they also um, do with their own lives as well as find out what's going on with World Earth Day. One of our IB students have been selected this year to go to UNICEF and we'll find out about the work that they're doing and how that also connects with World Earth Day and what we're going to do on school here. So enjoy the podcast. So we're in the pool, I'm here with Coach Laura and Miriam from Year 11 and we're going to find out a little bit more information about our swim season. So Miriam, you are an assistant coach yes. for our swim team. And I know from talking to Coach Laura, you've been pivotal in helping our team qualify for the state championships. So tell everybody, what was your strength? So I looked at where they do based on their current performances, how consistent they were, what they've done previously, how much they've been improving. So you took the, the data yeah. and the statistics and worked it out from there. And what gave you that idea? No, I just always loved maths and I just wanted to help out. Because I used to swim, but just didn't quite enjoy it anymore after a bunch of injuries. But I still wanted to be involved. I love mathematics use it in a real world situation yeah. to help our swimmers. Yes. Genius idea. So Coach Laura, having someone like Miriam in your coaching team must be fantastic. It was huge. Um, one of the things that was really important to me this year was that we took a team to regionals and a team to state. And, we, and so the work that Miriam did allowed us to take of the 19 that we took to regionals, 18 qualified most at the regional meet. And again, that was looking at their, their best best swims, their best chances, using her statistics, using her math to get them there, which was, was dynamic. Well, congratulations on a fantastic season. Always really proud of our Bulldogs. I'm here with Year 12 Adenia, who's going to be one of the students representing our school at the United Nations during the summer. Adenia, can you tell us about that, a bit about your project? So, um, my UNICEF uh, project proposal is basically to make our school, the British International School of Houston, a more green and sustainable school. So the project basically focuses around reducing consumption and making sure that our waste gets recycled. So already I've started to initiate the process by reaching out to members of our BISH community and hopefully we will get our project started on April 22nd, World Earth Day. Look out for more information about World Earth Day on April 22nd. Stand up, speak up, show up. Year five, I don't want to interrupt you for too long because you're working so hard on your artwork. I wanted to ask you a question. Did you know that Mr. Barnett, one of your year five teachers, and of course you're ahead of here, he's qualified for the Boston Marathon? Did you know that? No. Do you know what the Boston Marathon is? No. It's one of the world's most famous marathons and you have to be able to run a particularly fast time to qualify and Mr. the bar is qualified. How cool is that? Wow. Yeah, really cool. Should we go and find out more about it? Yeah. Let's go answer some questions. Who's going to come with me? Let's go. Congratulations, Mr. Barnett. How did you qualify for the Boston Marathon? Uh, I qualified when I ran the Houston Marathon uh, last January. Um, and there's a certain cutoff time you have to make to qualify for Boston, and I had to run uh, at least uh, lower than for, uh, three hours and five minutes, and I managed to get there in, in two hours and fifty-nine minutes. So it actually is taking me three years of trying and, and running marathons to to make the qualification time and to, and to get fast enough to run. That. So yeah, it's taking me three years of training nearly every day. There's a lot of resilience, yeah. yeah. There were a lot of disappointments and there were a lot of races where I didn't make the time and there were a lot of training sessions where I'd get up really early in the morning and I didn't really want to get up really early in the morning but I stuck with it and got there in the morning. Well, the atmosphere and just, just the amount of people that are going to be there and the energy and the excitement of the event.
know, this is a fantastic bunch of boys. They really have worked and the score proud today. You know, to battle back from a team that's not lost all season, 2 0 down at half time, you know, shows the character, the credits for every single one of them. You know, I thought we could have won it in the first 80 minutes. You know, we missed a lot of chances. That's something, hey, I'm a perfectionist. We're going to carry on working going forward, training again. But, you know, I won't say we'll enjoy the seven hour journey back, but it's certainly a lot sweeter than what it looked like at half time. Uh, outstanding job by you and your uh, players today, coach. Uh, best of luck next Thursday. Uh, I believe we'll be uh, playing against TMI Episcopal, who won uh, last night. So, uh... Excellent. Well, we'll go there, we'll give it our best again, and we'll, like as we always do, we try our hardest, and if we get the W, then that's all that matters. Congratulations, Thank on you. to the quarterfinals. I hope you enjoyed this week's podcast with a sporting theme. Please remember to check the bulletin to make sure you don't miss out on any information. Of course, coming up, we have our 90s themed dress up day for us for our yearbook. Uh, please make sure you get involved in that. And of course, as always, Go Bulls!